After installing Debian 13, the very first step for getting Steam to work properly is to make sure your system has access to the correct software repositories. Debian ships with only the main fully open source repository enabled, but Steam requires contrib and non-free components to function. So the process begins by editing your sources list. Open your sources list and review the entries for Debian 13, also known as Trixie. Make sure each line includes main, followed by contrib, non-free and non-free firmware. These repositories allow Debian to access proprietary components that Steam depends on, including 32-bit libraries and graphics-related firmware. Once you save the file and refresh your package sources, Debian will be ready to install everything Steam requires. Debian provides Steam directly from its official repositories through the Contrib section. Once you install the Steam package, the client may download some additional runtime components during the first launch. Just let it complete the initial setup, allow it to update itself, and the application will open normally. Before launching any games, it's recommended to make sure your graphics drivers are correctly installed. Intel and AMD GPUs typically work out of the box with Mesa, but NVIDIA users should install the proprietary driver to avoid issues with performance or crashes. Once the correct driver is in place, Steam games will run much smoother. When you open Steam for the first time, sign in to your account and head into the settings. From here, enable Steam Play with Proton support. This allows many Windows games to run on Linux through Valve's compatibility layer. Debian 13 handles Proton very well, so enabling it gives you access to a large library of playable titles. At this point, your system is fully ready for gaming. You've added the correct repositories, enabled a multi-arc support, installed Steam, checked your graphics driver, and activated Proton. Debian 13 is now prepared for a smooth and stable Steam experience, whether you're playing native Linux titles or running Windows games through Proton.